What's up world, I am the Nameless Gamer, and welcome to Beholder. This is a game I've been sitting on in my inventory for a long time, because I knew I wanted to save it for a YouTube video, a YouTube series. And then, I, even when I started YouTube, I didn't jump right into this game, because I wanted to save it until I had more of an audience. I'm not sure why, I just figured it would be a game that would benefit from people actually watching it, as opposed to my early Phantom Forces videos, which, by the way, those were an absolutely terrible idea. Um, but my early Phantom Forces videos had absolutely no one watching. I figured having a semi-consistent, at the very least, audience would make this a much better experience, but, um, yeah, my optimism of how quickly that would happen didn't pan out. I and I'm just sick of waiting to play this game because I've wanted to play this game. You are a, in this game it's a very I don't know I'm just gonna get, get right in I'm not gonna uh, experience the game as it was meant to be played with difficult choices and challenges. The state will go easy on you key items will cost less and you'll make more money. I'm gonna go government elite Dif most this sounds really good challenges doesn't it's these difficult choices and this is part of the reason I wanted a bigger audience, because I wanted, I wanted more people to be seeing these choices. I don't know. We'll find out how it goes. Dear Carl Stein, we are happy to announce that you, you've been appointed the landlord of a Class D apartment block on Crushvice Six. You must go there immediately, immediately, and begin working. We have given you and your family an apartment on the first floor. The experimental drug will be injected into your system during your medical exam suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. Welcome to the elite official rank, Ministry of Allocation. Dear Karl Stein, We are happy to announce you've been appointed a landlord of the Class D apartment block on Kruschwitz 6. You must arrive there immediately and start working. your family are given an apartment on the first floor. The experimental medicine you've been injected with during the medical checkout suppresses your need for sleep. Thus, you will be able to spend more time serving your motherland. This is good. Faux Patria. I really like this so far. Oh, I love the dark feeling. of allocation oh this, I'm getting serious papers please vibes which is funny because the beholder 2 beta basically is papers please I played a little bit of it um, you can blackmail your tenants but they won't pay you forever Wow this is your boss click on him to begin talking when there's a exclamation point by an NPC he or she has a request for you. Bruno Hempf, Deputy Head of the Ministry. You must be Carl. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Ministry of Order, I welcome you to your new position. What's going on? We're merely driving pests out of the house. It's of no concern to you. Object or agree? Ah, uh, right away. That's kind of scary. I mean, he wasn't... I'm gonna agree. First day on the job, I'm just gonna kinda go along with what he says. As you wish. 
Your predecessor was unable to cope with the easiest tasks. A person occupying an important position can't cope with a simple task. There's only one outcome. He did that intentionally, i.e. he became an outlaw. As of now, everything your tenants do is your business. And the word everything means... The word everything means absolutely everything. You will follow their every step and document any suspicious activity. That is, if you want to earn a reputation for being a good public servant. I'm going to need to adjust my microphone because it obscures right where he's talking. So let me uh, move things around and I might sound a little different from the rest of this video. Alright, let's try this. Hope it works. Slight more adjustment. There we go. If you're going to be a perfect beholder, document hobbies, interests, and even conversations. How can I do this? Observe and record. Surveillance cameras will help. Let's start at the beginning. Have you ever managed a department building before, Carl? Do you need my help? Ask for help. I need the tutorial. I need your help. I'll help you, but keep your eyes peeled and don't miss a thing. Here's your journal. It's located on the right side of the screen, so it looks like I have a to-do list, a people tab, announcements, government mail, and money. Scroll through the tabs and look at it. Tasks, profile, basement, apartment one, apartment two, apartment three. Oh, I can, I can repair so I can get more later. Government directives. As of the year of first September 1st, 1984. 1984. It is illegal to harbor criminals or hide their actions. A criminal is detected hiding information about crimes. Oh, and these are the icons that'll show up. I don't know what this screen means. And bills. Oh, I have to pay bills? No. Then we'll continue our talk. Oh, I did that. Quests. Let's come back to surveillance. Uh, set up surveillance cameras in your house to simplify your work. According to our documentation, your predecessor received two of them. Find them in your office, which is to the right of this room. You can search furniture. You can search furniture. Click on the desk and then the magnifying glass. Oh, and here I come. Click on the item to see the description of it. Click the take button to place the object in your inventory. Surveillance camera. Moderate viewing range. Videotaping available. Take all. Your boss. Rich, you found the cameras. Install them in the dining hall. Follow me. You click on a smoke detector and then choose a camera to install. Click on the basket to remove the camera. Yeah, you're gonna be doing some shady sh things in this series. Done. Oh, I have to install. It told me to remove the, this thing, so I removed it. Fine, here's your first reward. Spend money on the things you need, you'll find them at the shop. You receive surveillance cameras as you earn reputation points. Reputation points show your standing with the public. You receive them for completing tasks. You can also use them for personal gain in order to persuade the people around you to do what you need them to do. Unfortunately, I have issues to deal with at the ministry. However, you can call me anytime from your office using your private line and ask me anything. By the way, Carl, I strongly encourage you to answer the phone. Remember, you and I serve our great people Completing the orders of the ministry is our bread and butter. It's also our water and air. Here's the main things. Several tenants are at risk. Your predecessor couldn't handle things. We're, we're hoping he'll do better. Just tell me how. First of all, watch the tenants closely. File a report as soon as you gather evidence. Where do I do that? The police will take care of the rest. If we need ourselves, our great state can be very grateful to those who do their work well. The ministry can turn a blind eye to forgery and blackmail if they help you achieve your goal. 
I'll do my best. I like your enthusiasm, but be slow to call our department. You can always ask your wise tutor for advice. One last instruction. The key I gave you opens every door in the building. Make sure your tenants leave their apartment before you enter. Many citizens still think the private life is their own business. Let it be so. Now get to work. My boss said to call the ministry to receive instructions. Well, all right. Is Anna Stein, is she my wife? I believe so. What did she look like? She had a uh, face. Patrick Stein. Oh yeah, my name's Carl Stein, so yeah, of course she's my wife. Duh! I'm dumb. Call the ministry for instructions. Here he comes. All the way from the other side of the room. Ministry of Order, your call is accepted. Hello, Carl. You've learned your main duties. Are you ready to receive a task? Ready for a task. Establish surveillance in apartment 2. Jacob Mainshek lives there. You can always buy the cameras you need at the state shop. Only enter a tenant's apartment when they're not at home. And be careful. Use the mouse wheel to adjust the scale. Oh. Search apartment 2. Install a camera in apartment 2. Where's apartment 2? Oh, this will be apartment two. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Do what I want you to do, game. Sorry. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Let me see. Apartment two. This is Jake, so that's the face I should be looking out for. Okay, I can stop looking now. Now I'm gonna go in. Wait, I don't have a camera. Do I? I need to get a camera from the dining hall, or buy one from the shop. But only lets me buy one in the game now. Oh, the door locked because I left it. Duh. Search apartment two. Search the drawers, first of all. Some items contain info about their owners. Click on, click on the highlighted text to gather the information. It will be sorted in the owner's file. You earn reputation points for the info you get. Broken bottle. With little skill, a broken bottle can be turned into a dangerous weapon. Information collected. There we go. I'll install a camera in his room. Careful and see who's. Alright, call the ministry is all that's left, so. I'll get out of here. That's the old man from before. New things. The production of political propaganda is prohibited. It is, all apples must be destroyed. It is illegal to store or consume them. That's ridiculous. Wait, what? Do I have to keep track of, like, who has what food? That's annoying. Reference. Dial the number. What? Report a task. Ministry. Ministry of order. Congratulations. Your first task was success. You are rewarded. $500 and 50 reputation points. 
according to our sources, Jacob Mainshack is violating state directives. Spy on him using the surveillance cameras. When a camera detects a tenant doing something illegal, the action icon changes color. Click on the icon to add the evidence to the dossier. Attach the evidence you gather to your report. How do I use this little computer desk then? This is not it. Sorry, I might need to adjust sensitivity. Is there no way to adjust? The viewing range of the, um, Camera. I guess who? There's a letter. I'll go look at that, I guess. Might as well, right? Death by Needle. The son of the miners' trade union leader was found unconscious after criminals reportedly pumped him full of drugs. He's being treated and rehabil rehabilitated at the hospital. The Ministry of Order advises citizens to be alert and interfere with any attempts to manufacture and spread drugs. Remember, your child could be next. Well, yes, but also... Let's see if Mr's home. He doesn't seem to be home. I'm going in. And directives. Oh shit. He's home. What are you doing here? Apologize and leave. Sorry about that. I'm already leaving. Leave at once. Shit. have to find drugs or apples or propaganda or a criminal I knew I should have knocked So I guess I just sit here like this until something happens. Oh, 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 oh. I clicked on the thing when it changed color. Then to begin writing a report, click on the desk and then choose the icon. And of course he did it right where the light was, or the camera was. Write a report. Miss Jacob Mindcheck, living in apartment number to violate a directive number the drug one six zero four zero from nine one drag collected materials i don't have a, the any of the materials yet unless it's does this count if i move the evidence you've collected to the evidence field it will be used after you send the report Make sure you filled in every blank correctly, then click send. Be careful, you'll be fine for mistakes. I'll throw in this, just in case. 
Nope, it's not evidence. Sending. Report on tenant Jacob Man Manischek sent. The police went to the apartment to inspect it. Oh no. Drug user. New message received. Well, yeah, let's just go check the mailbox after I just had a guy arrested. The Ministry of Truth has noticed a rising interest in philosophy books, including the books Works of Paul Williams, who died a century ago. His writing describes obsolete ideas that have been proven to be unrealistic. However, they still capture people's minds. The Ministry believes the notion of a society without government, in which the freedom of personal choice exists, is dangerous and should be destroyed in all its forms. Let me guess, new public directive? What are those? It is illegal to read or own a book owned by Paul Williams. Repair apartment 2 and find a tenant for apartment 2. Repair apartment 2. Move in. Uh, I get to choose, huh? Uh, famous cardio surgeon looking for long-term rental, guaranteed to be a decent tenant, or a I'll go for the lo who's long a long-term rental. Call the ministry and report your the completion of your task. Yes, sir. Is moving in, and I still have my camera there. <laughs> Dial the number. What does reference do? What would you like to know? Oh. To start repairs, click on the construction tape sketched across the tape in front of the apartment. Repairs take time. Use the profile tab in your log. Click repair to repair an apartment. Click move in to acquire new tenants. Okay. So that's what reference does. It's basically an extended tutorial. Dial the number. Report a task. Ministry. Ministry of Order. Congratulations, your task was a success. As a reward, we are transferring the following sum to your account. $1,250 reputation. Reputation is a quantifiable resource in this world. I thought they were just kind of being, um, breaking the fourth wall and talking directly to me the first time they started talking about reputation, but no, it appears it's an actual thing. Remember, if you miss a call from the Ministry of Order, you'll be fine. You must be in your apartment at all times and answer the phone when it rings. Even if you're dying, do you understand? Yes. You got rid of the violator. Now survey your attendant's opinions on Shimer. Shimmer? Find out what other people think about him. Document his characteristics after you're done with the survey. Get to work. What do I gotta do? I haven't been paying much um, attention to my family lately. I should talk with them. Okay, I can do that. Talk with the tenants about Claus Shimer. Who is Shimer the one I just put in? Hold on. No, who the hell is Shimer then? No. No. Claus Shimer, tobacco salesman, ex owner of the apartment building. Oh, that's who Shimer is. Well, I've got 46 hours. I can talk with my family for a bit. Well, apparently, not right now, I can't. I can take a peek at. Oh, why am I searching this? Well, there's someone sleeping in. No, I'm not gonna take any of this. Oh, 
Oh, hey. No. Go to Patrick Stein. He's getting up. No, he doesn't want to talk either. You don't want to talk. So I guess I'll move to my next task. All of the... Talk with the tenants about Claude Scheimer. Talk with Scheimer's wife. Talk with the Renex. Okay, then. I guess I can come up here. Are you coming down? She should be coming down. There's nowhere to go up there. Oh, there's someone. Nope, that's just Patrick. Won't let me do any of that. You! You, sir! Hello! Get acquainted. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm the new building manager. My name is Klaus Scheimer. You manage the build you manage the building that used to belong to my family. The previous manager had already turned it into junk. I hope you can fix this. I'll do my best. Okay, end conversation. All the best, Carl. Because I don't think I had to talk to Claus. No, I have to talk to Shimmer and the Renex. Shimmer's wife, I should say. Anyone home? No. But it does look like someone's home. You're one of the Renex. What do you want from the archivist? Get acquainted. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new manager of the building. Mark Renek is a respected actor, archivist. I, ha I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you'll put everything in here in order. I'll do my best. Try harder. You need this more than me. Ask about Claude Scheimer. I want to ask you about Claude Scheimer. Why do you want to know? Oops. Tell, tell the truth about the order. Give a vague reply. I hope you don't... I don't know anything you don't know. Moreover, curiosity is a terrible sin. I had a co-worker who was always poking his nose into other people's business. And documents. What happened to him? He was sent to jail. You learned more than you have to. Goodbye, young man. Okay, I've talked to Mark Renek. Is that Rosa? Nope, that's Maria Shimmer. That's his wife. Mm -hmm. Hello. Get acquainted. Hello, my name is Carl. I'm the new building manager. That's me, I'm Maria Shimmer. Did you bring your family here? We just moved in. It would be nice to meet you. Get a, ask about the husband. How's your husband doing? He looked upset. He doesn't feel well. He received a parcel containing a reel of film. Claus likes taking photos. This will cheer him up. Now I just need to talk to Rosa. Hey, it's Rosa. Good afternoon. Get acquainted. Hello, miss. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Carl, the new building manager. My name is Rosa Romanek. It's nice to meet you. You must have met my naughty husband. We have a son, too. He's just like you, but he lives in the capital. Ask about Klaus Scheimer. I want to ask you about Klaus Scheimer. Does he bother you? He's a person of worth. He helped me acquire a nice bottle of dessert. Whatever. Well, he's an expert in wine, unlike my grandpa. Good afternoon. Ask about the son. How do you boys become a boss? We haven't, I haven't seen him in a long time. So long ago. Ask about the husband. Mark has been working in the archives his entire life. He likes his job. He deals with a lot of papers, but not many people. He spends his vacation in the company of his fishing rod. Let me know if you have any problems. So now I can go down here. And I could call the ministry, but I'd rather talk to, some people, talk to my family first. We've got 37 hours still. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Ask about the house. How do you do you like our new home? I like him very much. He's big. And you? I like him too. We have three rooms. We used to have just one. Moreover, we have a TV. Will they take our TV, Dad? No, honey. Nobody will take it. Patrick says they sometimes show a cartoon. Lost toy. What happened, sweetheart? Something bad happened, Dad. I lost Nardia. It's nowhere to be found. Who's Naira? It's my dog. It's my favorite doll, Dad. Will you ever find it? You scared me, Martha. Where did you last play with it? At home. 
Thought I was too small to walk outside. Find her, please. Oh, I can't do that. Can I talk to Anna right now? Fuck Carl. Ask about Martha's doll. Anna, have you seen the old doll Martha used to play with? She can't find it. This is why she's upset and afraid to talk to me. Maybe it's behind the wardrobe or under the bed. Talk about work. When I saw police march a handcuffed person right by me. It frightened me. Who was that, Carl? Previous building manager. He didn't handle his duties well. What a nightmare. But Carl, couldn't the same thing happen to you? Don't worry, honey. I'll be a good manager. I don't want to talk about domestic problems. I need your help, honey. I can't find a big enough saucepan. I searched every nook and cranny, and I have no idea where it is. Maybe someone stole it. Should we call the police? Call the police because of an old saucepan? Don't even think of this. We must have left it in our old house. If you say so, can you ask the tenants about the saucepans? I hope they won't reject the new manager. I'll make a compote for Martha and bring it back. Okay, I'll ask the neighbors about a saucepan. Talk with the sun. Talk with the wife should be done. What, Carl? End conversation. Talk with the son. Where is said son? I don't know, I don't see him yet. Oh, there he is. I'll go talk. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to me right now. I can go see if. I'll go knock on some doors and see if I can get a pot. We've got 46 hours before I have to call the ministry. Must profile Klaus Scheimer. Ooh, actually that could be interesting. And take up more time than I anticipated. Oh, Wait, what were you doing downstairs? What were you doing in my apartment? Hello. Meet. I'm here to introduce myself. I'm Carl, the landlord. I'm honored. Dr. Alasias Schapp, a physician. You must have heard about me. The entire city did. I've never heard of you. Of course I have. Please don't praise me. I was just doing my duty. Just doing my duty. And that's great. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, what problems could I possibly have? Nothing. You're very busy. Ask how's it going. Are you okay? Oh, busy, busy, busy. Patients fight over me. Are you a doctor? That's the real one. Don't you doubt it. I can't. I can cure even a healthy man. I'd say especially healthy. Any education? Are you kidding? I've dedicated my life to treating people. Your doubts hurt me. Sorry, this is a demanding job. How can you, dear? Here's a good way for you to relax. Just be reasonable. Whiskey? Okay. Uh, still not sure why you're in my room. I don't know what you are. I don't want to get involved. It's saying I haven't talked with the wife, which I don't understand, because... What, Carl? Saucepan. They found a saucepan, Carl? I prepared everything. Prepared. Not yet. Just don't put this off, okay? Okay. Uh, I will profile Hans or Claus. How do I do that? Is that over? Well, let's see if I can talk to Patrick. I can talk to Patrick! Ooh, they're talking about cooking or markings. Yes, Father? Do you need anything? I have an issue, Father. What do you want? Economics classes have started and we're given a list of books to read. The books I need for school. I stop by the bookstore and they don't have these books. I heard I could get used ones at the market, but they cost a fortune. Can you ask your friends? Perhaps you know who has these books. You talk to wise people. I was, I'm thinking about what I can do for you. And the conversation. Alright. Martha lost her doll, so I need to find a doll. I don't know why talk with the daughter is the only one that... Maybe because I exhausted all the options? I'll figure that out. I'm gonna go profile Claws, and then I'll start talking to people about pot C. The Renex probably have a pot I can borrow. Profile of ten. Claws Shimmer. apartment number. He lives in one, right? Yeah. One. Male. Mary. Lives with Maria Shimmer. Occupation. Uh, what is he now? Tobacco salesman, right? There we go. Send this. I've profiled him. Now I'm gonna go up and knock on their door.
Probably the Ministry to report the completion of the task. Probably do that soon, huh? New government directive received, I noticed, but... Can I knock again? It is illegal to use foreign currency. Here she comes, I can ask about a saucepan, or a pot, or whatever she wanted. This has been going on for a while. How long have I been doing this? Good afternoon. Ask about the saucepan. Do you have a scholar saucepan, miss? My wife left hers at her own house, and our daughter's asking for a compote. Yeah, no, dear. My husband and I have lived alone for many years. We don't need anything much. I took everything to the second-hand shop a long time ago. Let me know if you have any problems. Could I buy one? No, I couldn't. Well, actually, I'm going to call in and finish this task, and then I'm going to leave the episode here, because I have no idea how long I've been sitting here, but it's probably been a while. Yes, it has been a while. Dial the number, report a task. Ministry of Order. Time to act, Carmine Carl. You must evict Claude Shimmer. So, that's where we're going to leave off, because that sounds like a cliffhanger, and that sounds like a fun way to leave things off on the first episode of Beholder. I've got to build some hype from it. Um, I've got to build some hype for the next episode. So, and I don't know how things are evicted. I should probably do this, because I don't know if I can call again, so I should actually hold on. Ask about eviction methods. How can I evict Shimmer? Talk to Shimmer. Will you be fine with moving him out? With him moving out? It would be better if you report him when he violates our directives. This is your duty, Comrade Carl. What about his wife? What will happen to his wife? We don't care about her. Do what you think is best. So I'd, I understand. Talk with you later. So we're not going to evict someone until the next episode. Oh, I can actually straight up pause this. Or fast forward. That's handy. Point is, uh, let me just... Is there just a save button? If I just hit main menu, the game is automatically saved at the moment of the completion of every quest. When you exit the game, however, all unsaved progress is lost. I finished that task, so yes, this was the completion of the, te of the quest. There might be one or two things that I didn't do, but I think I got everything. Let me just get out, so I'm not tempted to do anything else. This is fun. This is everything I'd hoped it would be. It's, I love the dark tone. I love the moral ambiguity of your actions. This is going to be fun. I'm probably going to get overwhelmed, and I'm not going to be able to keep up, and I'm going to suck. But I don't care. I am already in love with this, and I can't wait to keep it going. So next week, or whenever I get to this, look forward to more Beholder. But for now, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you all have a very nice day. Thank you again, and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.